Michael Jackson is one of the greatest performers of all time, hands down. And the man behind the music, Quincy Jones, is one of the greatest producers in the world. But what if I told you Quincy Jones is always destined for greatness because he's a descendant of the Lanier family? Yeah, everyone knows Lake Lanier, but do you know the story behind the Lanier's? Let me take you back, take you all the way back to Italy, yes. Italy. The Lanier family is allegedly from Venice and they were a part of Queen Catherine Medici's court. Yes, Queen Catherine Medici, the wife of the King of France. The Lanier family was part of the French court. They were some of the best musicians in all of Europe. During the Protestant Reformation, they had to leave France for England and Queen Catherine Medici promised them safe transport to England where they would join the English court and become English court musicians. And from there, they became some of the greatest musicians in the world. They They married into other court musician families in England at that time, but there was one issue. The monarchy was being overthrown during the English Civil War, and that meant the Lanier's were falling from favor falling from grace. They had to run to the Netherlands to avoid being killed. King Charles I was captured and his head was chopped off. King Charles II took refuge in France with his cousin, Louis the Sun King. The Lanier family hid in the Netherlands until the restoration. King Charles II returned to England and they reestablished themselves as court musicians in England. But by this time, most of the Lanier family was over the turmoil that England was facing at that time and they packed their bags for, you guessed it, the United States of America. They came over with the Washingtons, yes, George Washington's family, and established themselves in the Americas. They were no longer as wealthy as they were in England, but their connections were long. So now that the Lanier's were in America and they could no longer be court musicians, they had to find a way to maintain their wealth. And you know what they did? You guessed it. They established major plantations here in the United States. And what is required on plantations? Enslaved labor, which leads to Quincy Jones' family. His grandmother was the daughter of her enslaver, Jim Lanier, in Vicksburg, Mississippi. But the Lanier's were all over the United States, establishing their wealth in various ways that, of course, always included enslaved laborers. But one part of the Lanier family became a part of Astor's 400. Yes, those Astor's. They were part of the elite society of New York. James Lanier was a banker. He was close friends with J.P. Morgan. Yes, as in J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. Many of you guys use that bank today. The home of the Lanier family in New York is one of the most beautiful mansions of this era that is still standing and just went up for sale. Lexington now, Avenues in the historic Manhattan neighborhood of Murray Hill presents a once in a lifetime opportunity to own a New York City landmark and a living work of art. The stately brick and limestone mansion was built between 1901 and 1903 for New York City banker James Franklin Doty Lanier II and his wife Harriet Bishop Lanier. At 33 feet wide, 75 feet deep, and 66 feet tall, with 11,638 square feet of palatial living space across eight levels, the James F. D. Lanier House is one of the city's largest single-family homes. It is also among the grandest. The interior is epically scaled and intricately adorned. The magnificent details begin at the arched entrance hall with its high rose medallion ceiling. It flows into a palatial white marble gallery. Now let's get into some people who are still alive today who are descendants of this Astro 400 Lanier family. Kitty Lanier married someone who was once the governor of New York. William Harriman. Mr. Harriman was the heir to the Union Pacific Railroad Company and he was very well connected. His last wife was the ex-wife of Winston Churchill's son. Through this connection, the Lanier family is connected to Brooke Shields and basically everyone of New York High Society today. Quincy Jones had to work very hard for his wealth and his status. But we can't say the same thing for the white Lanier. They were born into this and they never really lost their status to this day. What if Quincy Jones and the Black Lanier's will give them a head start like their white cousins? Who knows how many Black Lanier's will be famous today? Get into that. 